If you want to get anywhere with whatever you do, if you work hard enough. Today's video, we're going to locals. We're going to succeed. Now, we already know we're going to top. That's without question. We have an unfair advantage to everyone. We're playing pendulums. This is the equivalent of an athlete taking steroids while everyone else is not. Only one arm in. You, you guys want to hear a funny story about Sosa one time we went to a rave together? Yo, Tino! What's good? Yo, invoke ass. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Tino just said he's going to main deck anti-spell. That's cheating! If he actually drops anti-spell game one, I'm literally ripping the card from his deck and uh, he'll be playing 39 cards the rest of the way. Yeah, who would win in a fight between you two? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you would whoop his ass? Cards. Looch? Local time! So what's the best deck then? Bird. Bird. It does too much. Bird. Okay, yo, Luch, you play bird, yeah? Um, water yeah, shower, bird, bird, bird. Bird. Okay. So if they say bird is the best deck, and when I face Luch in the tourney and absolutely clap him up in seven minutes, that means Pendulum is just naturally the best deck. Round one is about to start. So if I lose this round, I'm gonna buy this pop thing. What? There's a DJ Khaled one, and then you're gonna buy another one. But I'm not gonna make it easy on you. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna go hard, bro. Mm -hmm. all right. All right, good luck, bro. Thank you, thank you. Oh, craziest truck in the world! Let's go, boys. I'm gonna baguska his ass, that's for sure. Let's go. Then we are facing off against Sword Soul over here, and I am very prepared. I'm very prepared. This is a matchup I'm very familiar with. Now, I do wanna let you guys know before we continue that the beautiful. Play mats are right, you see right there, all available on tripgaming.com. Get yours right now. I'm gonna go straight for the Baguska here. And sadly, uh, he was gonna see something very sad. Oh, he has a challenge! Sad, we have Pengraph, but it's all right. And then of course, the Sicko has an extra card in hand, despite clearing everything there. He goes back to you. This duel is not over yet. He does have a very nice setup. Okay, now it's over. <laughs> that was very close. He had to not just have a, a chalice, but he needed that was specifically a chalice and a card in hand. But Guska is the beyond end all. Now, I do want to mention, I didn't misplay that game one. I entered Battle Fate. I summoned Double Iris. Uh, I, for some reason, I thought Baron was in defense. If the Baron is in defense, because a lot of people play around Lightning Storm, even in game one, then you have 2700 attack with your Purple Poison to clear everything. But uh, that, that was my fault there. But obviously, he, look at this board. This board's absolutely insane. Scythe Resolve, GG. Even through Dark Ruler, we still win. Absolutely wild. And man, you guys go, uh, are, are prepared for this video and prepared for Pendulum Domination. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, guys. We're almost at 53,000 subscribers. And the new broken Pendulum link, Beyond the Pendulum, would very much appreciate it if you sub. Let's go. Let's say Beyond 53,000, baby. So he almost clears all this, but obviously it's not going to be enough for T-Jordan and Magician Baron. And this is just GG, boys. Pen best deck. That's all I got to say. All I got to say is Pen best deck. So we are going to go on right now to game number three. I'm prepared here. I'm citing in all my go second cards to stop his board. And then he beats me big time here. He tells me to go first. <laughs> what a genius decision to make me go first. Uh, clearly, you see, like I side out my scythe. I side out my DPE package. Like... I don't have anything other than normal Pendulum Negate, so I put up Appaloosa Baron and Pengraph for two, which is pretty good, but of course you can hit with Chalice evenly. I'm still left with Pengraph because he's going to have two cards in the field. But sadly enough, that's just, uh, he's, he's just opened the absolute nuts here. Like, Chalice and Baron, uh, Chalice and evenly, like, it just wasn't enough. He goes Baron, and then, uh, I just had too many side cards, only had one monster. Ah, uh, can't have log on Sphere mode, GG. Ah! I was actually so disappointed there. Him making me go first was actually genius. I lose the match here, but we are playing for fun. I'm absolutely convinced that I could 10-0 Sword Soul in a best of five. So I told him, I'm like, dude, let's just keep playing. Uh, I want to keep testing. I want to keep playing against Sword Soul. Sword Soul is free as fuck. So, uh, but nonetheless, our opponent made a very genius decision there to make us go first in that match. Like, I'm going to repeat this again. This is just a fun game here. He imprims my scythe, and I'm like, nah, negate that, and then we win. So we're going to go into another fun game here, and... I look back at this and I, I just look at the game one misplay where if I just normal summon purple poison instead of normal summon double iris, for some reason it just habit. I always think of Baron's in defense. Such like a like a stupid misplay 
Because 2700 and on 2800, if they're in his defense, is 2400. And typically, that else the whole board because poison also pops the one interruption. So uh, he said he has two synchros here. I'm gonna go straight into uh, that to attack the, the Baron. <coughs> I, I just uh, normal poison to pop the Baron. Uh, and then I'm gonna go here with uh, that in my hand. I have pen call. I'm gonna get my scales up and ready. He pops that. I'm gonna pen summon here. And uh, gets hit with droplets. I go my own Baron. I pop. We end up clearing the entire board here very easily, actually. And Tom's actually just what he be called in the round. You guys are gonna miss a fun little game two over here, guys. We lost against a very good matchup for us. This is not a good sign, but it's okay because we know why we lost the game one. As I mentioned in the comments, bro, twenty seven hundred attack, purple poison double iris combo. Typically, Bro Four goes on defense. Do not miss that. I did a mental error thinking it's always in defense so like an absolute moron i just summoned the po oh, iris if i summon pro poison that game one it outed everything then game three our opponent did a very genius play where he made us go first after we sided out our scythe and the dpe package because going second any five magicians any six magicians in your deck clears a full deep full sword soul board so big misplay but I'd, i'm glad that we misplayed now and it doesn't matter at locals so now when i face sword soul all day on this weekend i'm gonna be so aware that some players don't summon bro in defense they summon in attack position right especially game one because they're not scared of lightning storm game one so we have to be aware of this it's very very important uh so let's keep this in mind and we'll win the next one so let's go yo invo goblins pen god let's go you see tino is like me me and tino Tino's lo lo living the life right now, living the good life as a professional duelist. We go to locals all the time, do each other all the time. So let's see who's gonna come on top of this one. Let's go. By the way, I'm not buying this funky pop shit. That's for, that's for weebs like knock. I'm not buying it. I, I said if I lost, I was gonna buy one of these. Yeah, but uh, I don't want no like lolly type of like. But you need another one. <laughs> so you get the R5. Right, I guess we'll do it for our boy DJ Khaled. Yo, they have a Vegeta one? All right, I lied. Maybe I'm gonna get one. Let's go, boys. Round number two, we cannot lose. We're facing off against my boy Tito. He is playing Invoke Dogma. And I think I have a very good matchup. Pendulum has a very good matchup against that deck. Very good. It's kind of a one trick pony in my eyes because it's very, very, very heavily based on on uh, Winda. Obviously, the deck also puts up Makaba or DP sometimes, but. Winda is the whole stick of the deck. He's playing go second of the deck. So here we get with double evenly. Despite getting hit with double evenly, he's still locked under scythe here. And we have a great follow because we get to draw number draw two. So we are locked under evenly right now. That that is kind of sad, but it's still fun. Uh, sorry, no, he's locked under scythe. Now we're locked under evenly. But despite this fact, despite him being uh double evenly in us, and he's gonna set up here with Shizum. We're still in a very great scenario here. So I'm just going to draw. I'm going to draw phase, get rid of his, or standby phase, get rid of his trap. And I'm just going to scale, scale. I have double scale and I have draw two. So obviously there's no chance here. He's going to, his floor to leave, so it's going to negate the harmonizing. But it really doesn't matter in this scenario where we, if we get the draw, we're in a completely great scenario. So I'm going to enter battle there. I'm going to crash both to get pen graph. I'm going to set up a Guska and just set pen graph. And Baguska just hard auto destroys this deck also because we have a pen graph that pops two and a deep e just in case he manages to get rid of the baguska so he goes fusion destiny he sets up a nice board here but baguska just stops everything so now that it's my turn i could happily turn off baguska whenever i want but i'm not going to i'm just gonna need a five or nexus code and under baguska this is all legal pop everything and enter battle that's a really cool trick of baguska and access code that you guys need to take and if you guys love stuff like this make sure to go check out the patreon and Meta Meta metify coaching Gotta show cool plays like that where you go Baguska and... Oh, look at those big-ass arms. Oh, God. Anyways, yeah, I, I'm i lifting a lot now, so I always love to look at my own arms. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but, yeah, it's very important to uh, look at cool plays like that with, with the Baguska and access code to see you guys can do it as, as, uh, your, yourselves as well. So smash the sub button, boys, because if we hit 55,000 subs, who knows? Maybe I'll make more combinatorial videos. So here he puts up... Mikaba, Shizum, all that jazz. I'm like, <laughs> that's all good, fam. I go pen call. I, go, I just want you to see the extra deck, okay? Uh, I, in my graveyard, I sent Verte and Appaloosa because those are dark and wind. I re red reboot his ass on the Shadal Shizum. Now I'm going to uh, have my way here. So now that he's red rebooted, uh, I bait the Florida Lee. Now this is going to be easy game. So I sent two cards, Baron, to, to negate anything just in case. Now all I got to do is set up a Selene. Uh, and, and, and access code because i sent specifically a dark and a wind to the graveyard so i'm gonna have a dark and a wind i'm gonna have a light from from celine so i'm gonna have three pops here 
easily. So Axis Code is going to pop three cards. Baron's going to pop the other. And this is going to be exactly 8,300. Amazing. Amazing. Pendulums could clear boards like nothing. Cards like Red Reboot, Sphere Mode. Being able to play cards like this is why Pendulum is the best deck. I actually sided out the entire DPE engine. All five of those cards in conjunction with Scythe. All six of them. I don't know if this is true or not, but there might be a scenario here where Pendulums are better without DPE. Simply because you draw car you draw Fusion Destiny and Celestial and you have four Pendulums, like, that doesn't do much going second. But going second, again, if you just drop six Pendulum cards, you're clearing most boards. So we also saw the power of Baguska, where you just go Baguska and then it stops so many decks, even going second against big boards. In this format, where, in my opinion, the most played deck is Sword Soul, and uh, birds and birds are have a tough time going into Omen because they can't make it with Simorg. So going second, it's very easy to out boards. You can just go Baguska or Pengraf, outs a lot of boards. So I think moving forward, we actually might try the deck without DPE. Not as good going first, not as good going first, but ensures go second is way better. But we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll add some spice for going first. So I just came to a massive realization that. Uh, Fuck DPE. The card is literally just not that insane in Pendulums. I sided out DPE every single time going second. Simply because in this format, with ax with Pendulums having access to Brone to Floor, Baguska, power cards in the side deck, we could clear any board with six Pendulum cards. Round number three about to start. I must win. I must win. Let's go, boys. Round number three, facing off against my boy Joe. We are going to be facing against Dragon Link here. And Dragon Link is just not going to be able to uh, deal with Pendulums. We have Baron here to stop the Nibiru. And I go Needle Fiber. We are good to go, baby. We are good to go. Set up DPE. Baron Scythe Pengraph through Nibiru. Pen best deck is all I got to say. How many decks you know could do that through Nib? Not many. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to go into game number two over here. And I'm prepared for the siding. I'm like, hmm. Dragon Link, Dragon Link. Let's go. We're ready. Uh, Dragon, the thing with Dragon Link is that all their, their interruptions are soft interruptions. You know, Seal, Bounce, Tidying, Bounce, maybe a Veiler. Savage doesn't even destroy the card. Like, Hot Red doesn't destroy the card. Like, whatever they put up, they're all soft interruptions. They're not real interruptions. So it's very easy for us to clear this, to, to defeat this deck, because they're not real interruptions. Like, they're all very soft. So, like, without side cards, just six Pendulum cards defeats this board very easily. Uh, so he goes Mascarena here, sets up Hot Red. So we got Mascarena and Hot Red. And I'm going to go into Solore here. I'm going to start drawing and drawing. And I have to be aware that he probably has Hot Red and Imperm there. I go Wisdom uh, first before I summon a monster. This is where I make a massive, massive, massive error. I completely forget that Hot Red negates Wisdom Eye's effect uh, and not destroying it. Massive misplay there because Wisdom Eye is, uh, I can't activate until the end of the turn, until later. So I put up Needle Fiber now and I'm trying to play the slow game. Be uh, he goes Veiler. Because I know for a fact that I can't. On his turn, I go TG1 here to pop a card. He goes Imperm. I'm like, this is fine. And now I'm going to do a very cool play a lot of people not aw aren't aware of. Not many people know what Celestial Magician does. So in the battle phase, I go Celestial Magician effect. This is all in the damage step where you can't chain. And I got double draws here from TG Wonder. And then I set up four cards in my hand. And then he's going to attack for almost lethal, but not lethal. My turn, a Lava Golem. <laughs> a Fen 5. And this is going to be game here. He has really, he has no more cards in hand. Now that he has no more cards in hand, this is going to be easy victory for us. Uh, just go access code. I actually sided out DPE. Access code, pop everything. GG, let's go. So, Celestial Magician there saved us with a TG Wonder because it's considered uh, an official Synchro Summon uh, through Needle Fiber's effect. Here, we're going to keep on testing. We won the game 2-0, so we, were, uh, uh, we won this match. We're going to keep playing this just for fun because we do want to keep testing. It's important, uh, and I'm telling you, you go first every game of the testing. Uh, Joe's my boy here, so we're just testing. As you guys see, I drew Celestial there. We're, we're testing to see how my deck does going second. I understand Dragon Link is not part of the meta, but nonetheless, it's just dealing with interruptions here. So he does, uh, he, uh, I think he misplays slightly, not able to go into a seal there. I enter battle phase, so Joker just forcing out the Mascarena. So I pen summon, and now this is going to be an uh, easy victory here. We did draw Celestial, but that's okay because we're just going to keep that in our hand. We're gonna pop to get double iris here. We're gonna go into needle fiber. We're trying to bait all his hand traps as soon as possible. All the hand traps are gone. We set up birthday, pop that. He has one card left in hand, and then this is gonna be won't be enough to stop us. So pen best deck, boys. It's, it's all I gotta say. It's all I gotta say. So now for this one, uh, he's gonna set up a board of seal and hot red for him going up. 
And Seal Hot Red is going to be very easy for Pendulum. Because like I said, all the interruptions, they're not real. He has no hand traps. I know the two cards in his hand. I'm assuming Imperm and like a Seals or, or, or a Tidy. I pen summon. He gets rid of all my harmonizing ASAP so I can't go into Needle Fiber, which is the correct play here. He's locked out of Hot Red. He's locked out of everything. He's just hiding. Now he only has one interruption left. So I'm trying to bait this interruption out. He uses all his interruptions at the correct time. And I the play here for me, and I, I was forced to pen call, discard my Dasher. So I cannot be, uh, I just, Tornado going to Zeus. I, I wasn't able to, to go into Verte because uh, I pen called away my dasher to be able to have more cards for my pen summon. He goes hot red right off the bat. So uh, Zeus is going to be pretty dead, but it's okay. It's just a body at this point. I don't want to Zeus my scales anyways. I need a pen summon on my turn. My turn, I have such great follow-up that all these half interruptions just aren't going to do much. He has tiding in hot red. I just pen summon, I pen summon. Nothing you can do here. He gets rid of my tuners. I'm like, you know what? This is fine. He gets rid of my tuners, but we're still in a good scenario here. So with these, I'm going to go into uh, Dagda to Celine. Celine's going to get into Axis Code. I'm going to pop both, put him on Axis Code. Guys, round four just finished. My phone died. What else is new? My phone died again. I face off against Sky Striker. Yo, bro, how, how's our match? Bro, you fucking destroyed me. <laughs> it wasn't even close, bro. Yo, do you like that play I did with your, the... Your play was too big brain for me. <laughs> Yo, what was give, it? Give them the rundown. Give them, okay, the, rundown. Okay, give them the rundown. Okay, the play was actually sick. So, round one, what was uh, game one was, was cool. Let me go to game two. Now, game two, I'll actually show you guys my board here of what I had. The situation we have in game number two is I have Needle Piper, DPE, Scythe, Pen Graph set up with uh, Double Wisdom Eye in hand, and we're facing Sky Striker. So I let him go into main phase knowing that pen graph to play around Dark Ruler if he were to have it or droplets. So the second he activates a card, I activate Needle Fiber's effect uh, to bring up TG Wonder Magician. TG Wonder Magician targeted my scythe to destroy it and bring it out. At that moment, he activates Widow Anchor to negate the, the scythe. But I just chained TG Wonder Magician's effect to be able to synchro summon these and get them both off the field to bring out Baron to floor. Hence, scythe resolves and there's nothing he can do in that scenario now if he were to have let's say double widow anchor in that case i activate dpe to get scythe off the board that way it's still off the board and cannot be negated by those cards i won't have Baron de floor but i don't care because he's locked out a striker deck locked out of the extra deck no fusion destiny no ray that's gg and to top that off we also had a pen graph we could have dodged four of those and that's how we ended up winning the duel here with uh, Baron de Floor and DPE, our boss monsters of the deck. And with Double Wisdom Eye follow-up, and not just a Double Wisdom Eye follow-up, but on top of the Double Wisdom Eye follow-up in our hand, we also had the Dasher, Celestial, Special, and Double Draw. So even if we evenly match, we don't care. We still have an amazing follow-up, so. Tournament concluded. We finished X1. Not XO because of our misplay. You guys remember in round one. But, I mean, that misplay is easily not done. Now I know. Don't be an idiot. Actually, look at the board. So now I know this. All right, guys. My boy Mark here is going to bless our pack. We're going to get droplets. 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 No, it's warped. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, this is what my opponents are going to be getting. A big Macedonian. All right, guys. We got one last pack. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Droplets. 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 Oh, unfortunate. It was a fusion. Sad. It's okay. What I tell you this? Everyone better dodge me tomorrow. If you're entering the YCS and you face off against Steven J. Trifonoski, the second, it's done for you. It's done for you. Your whole YCS tournament is over. You might as well stay home and watch some trip gaming videos because you have no chance to win the win the tournament or against the thing. I hope everyone's down for second place because I'm winning the whole thing, baby. I don't even care. Bring on Yugi Moto himself. Bring on Pegasus. I don't care. I don't care who's there. Bring on Jesse. Bring on Sam. Bring on everyone in the world. No one is safe tomorrow. I'm going 11-0 in nine rounds. After I 2-0 everyone, I'm going to tell them let's play a third game just so I can 3-0 them and assert dominance because Pendulum is the best fucking deck. And tomorrow, I prove it to the world. All right, guys. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop uh, talking about what I'm going to do tomorrow. But maybe I won't, okay? Maybe I won't. Because I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. You're all gonna dodge me if you want a chance. Everyone better dodge me, bro. I've, I've been training hard. I've won local after local after local. Doesn't matter how many people come. We are winning tomorrow's tournament. I don't care. What? Okay, get your food. Because the only thing that's gonna be food is my opponents. I'm gonna eat their board for fucking breakfast because we break every board. No one stands a chance.
You don't stand a chance. Maybe. Ex well, 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 I don't. I didn't enter because I was scared. You played against scared. Everyone is scared. We're not losing, bro. I don't care. We are not losing. We are not losing. I will not accept even one game loss. I will not even lose a single game. I don't care. Victory or victory. After I win the dice roll, I'll let them go first. Just to give them a slight sliver of a chance, and they're still gonna lose. Wanna know why? Because Pendulum is the best deck. Tomorrow, I win the remote ICS. Yeah. No one's gonna stand a chance. They're gonna try and droll me, and I'll eat their droll. No one, no, 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 you're not drolling me tomorrow, baby. And wanna know why you're not drolling me? Because it doesn't even affect my deck, bro. They don't stand a chance, bro. We are winning tomorrow's tournament. I don't care. I don't care. We're going 9-0. All right, I'm done now. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. 9-0. Let's go.